Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a beautiful uh, Sunday morning here in Austin, Texas. Uh, I can't remember the exact day. Uh, you'll see it up top. Uh, it's about 3.30 in the morning. And I've been up since about two o'clock and um, going out for a run in a little bit. So, but uh, just getting myself set up and knocking out these exercises. Uh, thoughts on my mind. Uh, yesterday, um, normally when I have my daughter for the weekend, we go out on play dates and um, she has two close friends that she guys that goes out with. It's one is Avery and the other is, um, God darn it, I forgot his name right now. Uh, Ian, sorry, Ian. Uh, and uh, yesterday we hung out with Avery. We ended up going out to the MLK Festival uh, in uh, Austin. Uh, it's normally uh, held on MLK Day, but it was a freeze chill, so they postponed it. And it was a really, really, really good time. We had a really great time. And a lot of times when we go hang out for the weekend, we're there the whole day. Like, we'll, we'll hang out the whole weekend, like six, seven, eight hours. Just, I think it's a chance for her to just kind of be herself, play with her friends, be active, things of the sort. And a lot of times it's just to be the idea to get her off of her iPad. Um, why I talk about that today is because as I was doing it, um, I was hanging out with um, Avery's dad yesterday. And Avery's dad is 76 years old and uh, just a really, really amazing guy, Tom. And um, I like being around Tom because we just have really interesting conversations. Um, I like to gain wisdom from him and things of the sort. And what's so funny to me is if my daughter didn't hang out with Avery, I probably would have never talked to Tom or never gotten a chance to, an opportunity and a blessing to. So last night we were hanging out at the park and um, he asked me some very, he just asked really good questions. And he all, you know, um, I talk a lot about my, my past, my present and my future. Just the man that I am, the man that I was, the man that I'm becoming and things of the sort. And he just asked some really amazing questions. He's very insightful, uh, very thoughtful. And I say all of that to say the idea of having your community, you know, like I've, I've always talked about in some ways I am a loner, but when I have people like Tom in my life, it allows me to process things a lot easier. Um, and, uh, it allows me the, the opportunity to be vulnerable, uh, the opportunity to, to hold myself accountable, um, the opportunity to say I'm wrong when I'm wrong, and the opportunity to say I'm growing where I'm growing. And I, I just really, really appreciate it. Um, he helps make me a better man. And for that, I'm always thankful. And you can find these people in all walks of life if you are open and receptive to it. And so, this morning I say thank you, Tom. Thank you for being the blessing that you are. And to the, those of you out there, I just wanna say thank you for listening. Be blessed today and every day. Talk to you soon, peace.